Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and this is Working Man Reads. And I am available on Instagram also at Working Man Reads. And feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever the hell you want to do. Peace up. Let's get into this today. Today I'm going to be doing the BookTube trope tag. Um, but first off, I did get some book mail today. Um, my wife, I actually, uh, so I was supposed to get rid of book of the month club but i i didn't i let it go like two months and so uh yeah my wife got a free book she got the december pick and then i added uh home before dark by riley sager and i believe this is like a haunted ghost story i've seen it make its rounds around booktube and and instagram and that's a beautiful cover so i'm super excited um, to, to review this. So also guys, let me know down below if you like kind of the lights off atmosphere. Uh, I kind of like it. It kind of covers up a lot of the dreary, weird uh, basement look that I got going on. But I also received my coffin couch hoodie. And uh, yeah, it's available on Teespring. And there's there's a link floating around somewhere. I think Jay has it on his Twitter. And, I, and I'll have a link also. I think uh, I was going to have Scion send me one. So if you guys end up wanting to cop yourself a white hoodie that goes well with all my various hats that I wear during my videos. There you go. Okay, now into the booktube trope tag. So I know my buddy John at Books of Blood did this, and I know Mindy's book journal did this. And uh, the original, or the originator of the tag, originator, is Kathy Triggerhard. I'll try to link her uh, channel down below. She's got like a real name as her channel name, so that's cool. All right, so tropes number one, booktubers hate libraries. That is not true. But for a long time, this is a funny story, I owed the library money. And uh, yeah, so I didn't go for a little bit. But I have paid them back, and now I'm allowed back in. But for a while, I wasn't allowed to use it. When I was a kid, I was a little bit of a butthead. So yeah. All right, uh, but libraries are great. Free books, and you get to rent them, and if you take care of them, and you bring them back, it's great. And also, there's the Libby app, and you can listen to audiobooks for free through the library. So, shout out to the libraries. I hope they don't die. Yeah. So, number two, booktubers are book hoarders. Yes. If I was left unchecked and to my own devices, I would own hundreds, maybe a thousand books. And if you look hard enough here on BookTube, you can find certain booktubers who are worse than anyone who is in my circle of friends. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to name names, but there's some of you out there that got basements and basements and basements and basements full of book books, and that's intense. That's that's a problem. All right, number three, booktubers hate paperbacks. Not true. Uh, I actually love floppy, big floppy paperbacks. I like the paperbacks that you can like shove in your pocket and just go to work. You know, you pocket. That's what I think Stephen King talked about that one time. He was like, I love the leisure paperbacks because you can put them in your jean pocket and go to work and then come back, which I don't know if Stephen King, I don't know what his jobs were when he was growing up, but that's kind of funny. I've literally done that. It's a nice summer day. I'll put put a Stephen King novel in my back pocket on my work pants and I'll go up the, go up the ladder and then I'll go to work. And then if I get some spare time where it's pulling a vacuum on an HVAC system, I'll read and chill. You know what I mean? And it's a good way to pass the time instead of sitting on my phone, you know. But, uh, yeah, so paperbacks are awesome. I, I mean, everybody wants to collect hardcovers and stuff, but I would rather read a paperback because I could beat the crap out of it. So, number four, booktubers only give positive reviews. Not true. Um, on my channel, I tend to DNF terrible books, and I will let you know. Um and then I, I've reviewed I've reviewed a couple popular books low. So, yeah. I don't love everything I read, but I don't waste my time reading bad stuff, if that makes sense. Uh, number five, all booktubers are just doing it for the money. That's obviously that's true. I'm rich and I am super, super rich. I don't even need to work anymore. No, that's not true. I don't get it. I, don't, I, I will never be monetized ever. I'm not popular enough, and I'm not going to do the things to get popular um, that I need to. So <laughs> I'm just not. I'm not going to sit here and, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I haven't reviewed a YA novel on here and things like that. So 
yeah, I probably will never be monetized and I'll never, uh, you'll never see me advertise like some random app that uh, you should download. It's probably not going to be on my channel ever. So shout out to those channels that make it though and then don't have to work their day job anymore. But I would never quit my day job anyways. So number six, all booktubers are teenage girls. It depends what genre you read, if I'm being honest, <laughs> which I'm blo I am blatantly honest. If you're new here, I can be very honest. Uh, I would I would say there's a lot of YA teenage girl booktubers, if we're being honest. Uh, not shot, not not hating on them. I just think that that's very true, you know. Uh, which is kind of cool because Mindy reads a lot of horror. And she's a, a female booktuber, and she's one of my favorites. So I love female booktubers, and there's some other great ones. Like, I love Spinelli Speaks content, and um, there's tons of really great ones. Uh, Maria McWilliams and all those. So, but I'm not dogging on those. I'm dogging on the, uh, the 150,000 other um, Hunger Games booktube channels. But no, there are men, and we are around. Uh, you, you do have to kind of look in the depths of booktube to find us but we're there and uh so yeah shout out to all you guys because we're probably all friends because it's a it's a it's a it's a little bit of a, a following a little cult that we got going on here we're not a cult but you know what i'm saying uh number seven <laughs> that got intense seven booktubers review recommend books they haven't read i'm not gonna say that other people don't do that not people in my friend group but I, I find it hard to believe, man, that some of these big, big fan fantasy channels are reading, you know, books that are, you know, 700 pages and reading like three a week. That's impressive. If not, then they're just sitting on audiobooks, And that's possible. I'm not saying people can't read all that, but that's and I mean, that better be a YouTube better be their job because you don't have any other time for anything else. But um yeah, no, I, if I, that's why I'm doing this right now is because I haven't finished a book yet this week. So, um, no, I don't review anything I haven't read because how can I recommend something if I haven't read it myself? So, yeah, I think, uh, don't, <laughs> don't forget to tag your friends and or enemies. That's, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, man, I don't, I don't have anybody I'm going to tag. I wasn't even tagged in this. I think I've been tagged in other book tags that I got to get to, but this one looked fun and I wanted to do it because I'll shoot it straight. You know what I mean? And I hope everybody has a great day. Just as a reminder, I'm going to be taking some time off coming soon. So if I disappear for a week and a half, you know why, but I appreciate you guys. I'm looking forward to not working and reading some more. So peace out.